Today we have a requested video, guys. Some of you guys probably know that I just finished installing my port injection setup for the F10. Um, I did a video for you guys for the manifold install, but I did have some guys that said they wanted to see the reflex install. So we're gonna jump into that right now. Now, I know you guys already know my Reflex Plus is completely connected. I've already, I went through this entire install. I'm actually working on my uh, Reflex Maps uh, with, with my tuner. Uh, we're trying to get all the that dialed in first before we're able to turn the boost back up. But I want to just kind of roughly go through some of this thing, uh, some of these things. Um, the Reflex kit that I had was the Flying Leads kit, so it actually did not come with uh, like the BMW harness. Uh, BMW harness would make it uh, super simple for you guys to install, but it is something that you can install um, if you just have a little bit of uh, you know working knowledge about around wiring. Um, as well as you use the diagram. So I will try to see here short, later on in the video, I'll put a quick um, image of the diagram that the Reflex Plus provides when it comes to the F-Series um, for wiring. So first of all, what you'll see here, uh, we've got our main harness connection here. Um, actually, I'm sorry, right here. Uh, this actually has all of our wiring in it and you'll have some additional auxiliary wires off of there. Uh, this connector here is actually my E85. Uh, sensor connector. Now, one thing that I did, and this is not something that you have to do if, if you don't want to, but uh, Reflex Plus actually provide, uh, not they don't provide one, but you can purchase a Reflex Plus or re, uh, an E85 connector for the Reflex. Well, I already had the E85 Continental sensor and it is tucked down below my intake manifold, so I'm not going to pull that out. But if you guys remember, I was running the EAC, uh, the, the burger tuning EAC. Uh, the Reflex Plus actually now does uh, all of the EAC for me. So what I did is I used my existing wiring that I had for that connector. Uh, that was something I just purchased off of, uh, I want to say Amazon for like $10. Um, and then I purchased off of AliExpress the connector in, which would this would here would be the uh, the mail, or I'm sorry, this would be the the yeah, the mail end for our uh, E85 connection, which is right here. There's the, the female end. So you do have to make sure that you get the correct three prong connector. Um, it was, I think like three or $4 on AliExpress. And then, like I said, I got to use my existing wiring uh, that I had that was already existing. So uh, that saved me some, some money there. I think, um, I think Reflex uh, has it on their website for, for like $50. So that saved me a little bit just because I was already running uh, the Continental sensor. But um, all of my other wiring, as you guys can see, I have it snaked through right up here and then it comes down and everything is connected over there by the DME. So that's where main, mainly most of our wires are connected. Um, I do have my power and uh, ground wire still connected on this side. That was just from a previous connection. It was easy for me to get to and so there was really no reason for me to uh, try to come over here and find those uh, those that existing connections on the uh, the DME. So I just left that again, power and ground on that side. So the bulk of the connections that you will need to work on will actually be on these connectors here. Uh, you'll see that there's actually three connectors. And what uh, if you go back to my intake video, um, I did show you how to remove these connectors if you need to. Um, you're just gonna basically depress the tab and then be able to slide this handle forward. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and throw up on the screen, hopefully here on the left-hand side, uh, but you will see that there is a diagram that Reflex provides. Um, it's what wires you need to tap into. So, um, and you'll see here, if I pull this up, my wires here, let's see if I can get you a good look here. This one here is actually, you see the gray there telling you cam sensor. This one's the map sensor. The other one here is the crank sensor. Uh, my yellow and green here is for uh, CAN bus. So. I'm actually connected here on, I can't remember which connector this one is referring to, uh, but this connector, I'm, I'm actually going to the blue and red and, and then the red wire here, which are my CAN bus wires. Um, the hardest thing for you is really kind of pulling these connectors out and making sure you're fi finding the correct wire on this connector, right? So uh, one other connection you'll see here, this one actually was moved up. Uh, my tuner wanted me to actually connect to the map sensor here as opposed to the map sensor on the charge pipe. Uh, the connections for reflex will automatically have you connecting here to the charge pipe. But this, of course, is a more accurate sensor because it's actually giving you um, post throttle body numbers. So that's the reason why he wanted to connect there. Um, the other uh, connections, as you can see, will be just here connected on this, uh, these, this harness. So again, you're gonna have to use the diagram from Reflex. 
Uh, the other thing is when you remove those connectors, and I don't want to disconnect them right now because my battery is connected and I don't need errors and, and that sort of thing. Uh, but the other piece of that is disconnecting your connectors and trying to figure out where the, um, the wire number is associated with for the, the wire that you're looking for, right? So uh, what you'll see is most of them will have basically two rows or even three rows of wire in each one of those connectors. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to basically disconnect the, uh, the connector, lift it up, look on the back side of it, and you're trying to see if you can determine where those pins are going. So uh, it, it does take a little bit of time. That was probably the longest part of the install was actually getting in there and verifying the exact wiring that you need. Um, I'm not going to go through all of that just for the simple fact that it will change it can, and it can change depending on LCI, depending on model year, depending on just the wiring itself. So I don't want you guys to actually go step by step and see, you know, grab the exact color wire that I grabbed because it could be slightly different for your car. It's best for you guys to actually pull out those wire connectors and actually verify that you're actually tapping into the right wire. Uh, but that again, just going to be the, the, uh, the, the longest process for you. Uh, other than that, I like I said, just ran those wires up and hid them over so that I could actually put my reflex blocks uh, right there. Um, then you just basically get into programming, um, and that's what I do with my actually my my laptop here. Um, I will pull out the program real quick and just show you guys how a little bit of that works. So as far as programming that mode of Reflex Plus, uh, the first thing that I did is go to your support section. Okay, when you get to your support page here under the Reflex. You can see here that there is a little menu that comes up at the bottom with the files that are from a Dropbox. Uh, insulation and wiring is right here. Uh, you also have your firmware and then tuning files because you can pick up just a, a base map to be able to start running uh, your, your reflex uh, before then you can go in. And if you want to do custom tuning yourself of the map, uh, you actually will can use a program. I believe it's called, um, we'll get into that program here in just a minute because it's the same program you'll need to flash. But um, I downloaded the file that I needed, which was just a starter map, um, sent that to my tuner, and then he went through and then is doing the custom tuning. But from my understanding, you can do custom tuning yourself if you'd like to do that. But your installation and wiring right there is, is in that category. So that's where you'll want to click to get the, uh, the details for wiring uh, so that you know exactly where you're connecting. Uh, and of course, like we, we've already discussed firmware. Uh, let me see if we can back back out. Uh, so what you're going to need is Turner uh, Tuner Pro RT, and we'll get that to open up real quick. Um, they have a licensed and unlicensed version if you'd like. Um, right now, I'm using the unlicensed versions, version, so I do have to wait for a uh, an error to just kind of, not an error, but a registration option to, to remove. And then uh, you can actually get in here and start uh, w working with your file. So as you can guys can see, I'm actually running the 6.2 Reflex Plus. Uh, it's the 550cc map. Uh, mine, I'm currently on version 7. Um, that's the bin file that you would need to download. So that's, again, is going to be in that folder that, you're, that, that, that we just showed you, as well as you're going to need an XDI, XDF file and an ADX file. So all three of those files are what's necessary to go ahead and start your, your, um, your installation of your reflex map, at least. And then, of course, you have a USB port right here on the front of your reflex. You're going to connect there. Um, then you know, I usually give my give the battery or give the car um, just put it into ignition mode and then I can connect and, uh, and upload files uh, again there's a lot of videos out there online to kind of walk you through how to do that just want to give, give you guys a quick rundown on how I get it done hopefully this video will help a little bit for you guys I know it's not a just a complete step-by-step -step instructions but like I said wiring will be slightly different per model so I don't want to get you guys confused on that um, and again, if you if you do have the ability to pick up the BMW wiring harness, um, I think you can even pick it up uh, secondhand if you decide to. Or if you have a secondhand unit, you can go onto their website as long as they have it in stock and pick up that, that harness as well, too. That will give you the ability to just plug and play uh, your, your reflex unit into your vehicle as opposed to having to go through and wire into these leads. Uh, one thing that I don't like right now is the way that I wired it up with the uh, T-Spades. Uh, the, the reflex unit came with uh, some uh, different uh, connectors, like just the little pin connectors, uh, the little po uh, posi taps. Um, I had purchased these T, uh, T connectors to try to give them a try, and it's kind of hit or miss. It's, it's working out for me, but I don't know if I would have uh, done that if, if I didn't have to at this point. So 
Uh, again, hopefully this video helped. If you guys have any other videos that you guys would like to see, uh, any suggestions, drop those down below in the comments. Uh, but every, everybody be safe and I'll catch you guys in the next video.